Alrighty, hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be covering component placement and how to work effectively when it comes to aligning parts with respect to each other. So I'll show you some tips and tricks on how you can do that quite easily. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first and foremost, you want to make sure that of course you have a, a netlist imported in your design environment. And upon doing so, you will then be able to see the list of components that are available and ready for being placed on the, the canvas. So I'll go here up on the top under the place dropdown and click manually. Here you can see I have a number of, uh, I suppose, capacitors and resistors remaining. If I were to go ahead and select them, I will then see the footprint be visible when I am in my canvas and I can click them one by one, right? And no specific arrangement until I've depleted all of the capacitors. And then for the resistors, I'll actually show you another unique method on how you can go ahead and place those. So I'll click uh, finish there and then I'll try and do it uh, using the quick place mechanism. So in this particular case, let's just go ahead and do place all components, right? We can be a little bit more selective with how we want to set up this placement filter, but uh, let's do all of them at the same time, right? We have about eight resistors remaining and I will define the position by my initial user pick. And so I am prompted now for where they should begin. So that's my location. And now I can go ahead and click place. So there you go, and there they are on the canvas, and all of my components are now populated. Okay, so now when it comes to aligning components, there's a couple of different techniques that we can use. The very basic one, of course, is to individually select each part and right-click it and use the move function, right? So this gives you a little bit more precise control, but a much more manual task. Another unique technique is to actually change your application mode from general edit to placement edit and now this opens up a number of unique features that are available when it comes to placing or moving these symbols around so here what i want to show you is a very handy align feature that you can take advantage of so i've selected a, a group of these parts and now i go to the topmost one which i want to be as the reference part and right click there and then go down to align components you'll note that in the options tab on the right hand side here i have a number of different selections that i can pick from and i guess by default it's gone ahead with a vertical alignment direction right as you can see it has chosen the alignment edge to be the center and the spacing there's been no specifications given there. So let me actually change that to be equal spacing and let's make it uh, say 0.5 millimeters. And you can see that the uh, edits are real time. And now if I want to expand or contract that spacing, I can click the plus or minus buttons here and it will do it based on what this amount has been set as. So if I want to say expand them out, right, you can see that I am able to do so quite easily and quickly. So if I'm satisfied with this, let's go right, uh, go ahead and uh, click right click done. And now I want to actually make my resistors in line with my capacitors. So in this particular case, I will first align these two using my capacitor as a reference. And in this particular case, it's uh, already selected horizontal as the default edge center and spacing i think that's a, a reasonable amount so let's leave it there and then now i can do the complete uh, row of the resistors who aligned with respect to that first one there on the top and then i'll also go ahead and change the spacing so expand it such that these resistors are also in line with the capacitors as such so right click and done and there we have it so very handy feature but that is only available in the placement edit mode so once you're happy with your initial placement be sure to go back to the general edit otherwise you'll note that in your find filter 
you will not have the capability to select some of the other features that you'll need 